What is good, YouTube? Quinn Way Basketball Analysis coming to y'all with a quick video. Today, we're going to talk about the hot topic that Coach Bud emerges as a top coach for the Toronto Raptors and the Milwaukee Bucks. First, we're going to talk about the Milwaukee Bucks, a team that struggled to find an identity, a team that struggled to find a great way, great pace, and a great system to play. A team with one of the top, not top five to me, but top ten players in the world. That's a two-way player. Plays with a lot of energy. Plays with a lot of spunk. A lot of fight. Never gives up on plays. Always trying to make his teammates better. Trying to get to the paint. Create shots for others. Finishing around the rim. Working on that elbow jumper. And he has a little fadeaway game in him that, that you know, Pays homage to the great Dirk Nowinski, who was a seven-footer shooting jumpers, and made a career out of that. But, you know, the Toronto Raptors, I think Coach Bud would definitely do something similar to what Dwayne Casey has done, helping them become one of the top ten offenses and defenses in the league. And I think that edge that Coach Budenholzer had over Dwayne Casey is his adjustments, his lineups, and the X's and O's. He makes sure he watches everything, he prepares for everything, and he has the ability to out-coach other coaches. I told you guys I feel like Budenhoser was one of the top five coaches in the NBA. To me, he's a championship coach. His biggest problem was that he didn't have championship talent. He was able to make a roster with, with, with Paul Millsap or Al Horford, arguably the best player on the team is between them two. And... He was able to make a mediocre Atlanta Hawks team, a playoff team, uh, with Dwight Howard and Paul Millsap as his best players, too. He was able to have the best record and get to the Eastern Conference Finals. Not only that, um, he, he was able to compete against LeBron, but they had a lot of injuries that year. Nobody felt like they was going to win, but he never had a player of Giannis caliber in potential ever since he's been a head coach. Plus, this Bucks team, let's just face it, this team has a lot of talent. They have two-way players like Giannis. Um, Thon is a guy that needs the right coaching, needs the right situation, needs some confidence before he erupts as a star in this league. He always shows signs, but he's inconsistent, just like the Bucks' offense and defense is. They need a guy that's going to be hard on them, a guy that can make their job easier, a guy that can put them in positions like Brad Stevens to be effective and efficient while still contributing on the defensive end. And that can really help a team like the Bucks over the Raptors because the Raptors obviously know who they are. The Raptors know how to play. The Raptors just couldn't get over LeBron. And you can argue the same thing about Paul Millsap and Atlanta Hawks. Um, LeBron rules the East, so it's either you're going to beat him or he's going to leave the East other than that. Is either you're going to have to go out there and try to fight them. And that's something that the Celtics are doing. But they also lost to LeBron um, last year with Isaiah Thomas going out. They was able to steal one game. But Brad Stevens, a lot of people don't realize that. Brad, Brad, Brad. Brad Stevens coached the Celtics last year, and we only won one game in that series. Well, you can say, well, Isaiah Thomas got injured. I didn't think we was going to win that series even with Isaiah Thomas. Um, and it, Isaiah Thomas was a... a not the best player in that matchup anyway. He was already injured, so he wasn't going to be the same Isaiah Thomas in that series anyway. And he was one hard fall away from going out of the series anyway, even if he wanted to recover or go through surgery. You know, he was going to be done for the playoffs anyway. And I think that Budenhoser has a respect around the league, and I think Budenhoser has shown that players love playing for him and – that gives him an edge over a person like Becky Hammond, who is going in there and they're studying her, they're interviewing her, and they're interested in her. But Buddha Holzer has already proved that he can coach. He already proved that he can win. He already proved that he, he, he has the X's and O's. He makes the adjustments. He makes the lineup change. He put players in the best positions. And the Bucks is a team that they, they have a slogan on the future with a new arena coming. Giannis continually to get better. He went from averaging 16 to 22 to 25 a game. And 
you know, is a coach. He's a coach that I really do feel that can take this Bucks team to a championship level. And we seen it with Jason Kidd. When Jason Kidd got there, they was a mediocre team at best and one of the worst teams in the league. And the next year that Jason Kidd had the roster, they was able to turn that roster into a playoff team for multiple years, even though they missed one in that gap because actually Jason Kidd had got hip surgery and missed over half the year. And when he came back, they was already out of the playoffs at that point. But then they came back the next season and made the playoffs. So this team already showed you that they're good enough to make the playoffs in the East. This team has already showed you that they can compete with the Raptors, which they did last year, even though they lost in six. And they showing that, you know, this year going against the coach, potential best coach in the league, they went seven games with the Boston Celtics coming close to knocking them off in the first round. Even though they came up short, it showed you that they still have room for potential. But one thing I would definitely say about this, about the Milwaukee Bucks and the Raptors is, Philly is only going to get better, and the Celtics are only going to get better. So you might hire him thinking that he can take this particular roster to the next level, but that's not necessarily true because you have other teams that can make trades. You have other teams that can get better as they continue to bring in more talent, make trades, and develop. So at the end of the day, I can't really say – that you just add this coach and next thing you know, they fly up to the next level. They fly up and pass everybody up because people didn't think Brett Brown would stay around. People think that uh, Brad Stevens is going to get Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward back. And if you have, and, and realistically, if they stay healthy, they're going to be talent wise better and well coached to go against a team like the Bucks. So even though the Bucks have pieces like Thon, like Giannis, like Middleton, they still do have Big Bari under contract because worst case scenario, they match any offer. He's stuck there, so they have multiple ball handlers, guys that can do multiple things, guys that can score in isolation, guys that can make tough shots and create their own shot and create shots for others. Getting a, a, a coach like Bud will put them in better positions, put them in their areas, but also have the ball movement, having the cuts, getting the screens, getting everybody playing in motion. And that's something that definitely would make this team harder to guard because you have so many weapons already on this roster and then you have them moving and keeping the defense focused while the defense got to focus on offense. Now they got to play defense against a team that's playing well together and collectively. That's one of the number one reasons why Brad Stevens is getting so much credit is because he was able to take um, a roster without an all-star until they got Isaiah Thomas and Kyrie and make the playoffs consistently. And, he was able to get them to the Eastern Conference Finals last year, and that gave him even more respect. And this year they went 50 games with Kyrie missing 20 games and Gordon Hayward missing the whole season. They was able to get the second seed and beat to basically beat the, the Philly team that a lot of people picked on going to the Eastern Conference Finals. They was able to beat them in five, and they was able to beat the – favorite Milwaukee Bucks to beat them too so I think definitely if the Bucks are going to stay packed with this roster you definitely need a coach that can get the best out of them they never was a great offensive team with Jason Kidd at one point they was a great defensive team but they ended up getting caught up and they ended up not becoming a great defensive team any any I mean for the rest of their span with Jason Kidd so I definitely think they need a new voice they need, a, they need a new system. They need a hard, stern coach to help, help grow them, help mature them, and help take them to the next level. While a team like the Raptors, they already mature. They already have a, a veterans, and they already have a win-now culture because – their players like Demar's twenty eight, Serge's in his late twenties, Kyle Lowry's in his late, I mean his thirties. You don't have as much room to wait with your best players being older, and you have young players like Fan Fred Van Fleet, Siakam, and OG. Those players are well drafted, smart. So you give Jet Dwayne Qu Casey. Credit for winning 50 games with that team, almost 60, and securing number one seed. But 
you know, you still do have young talent on that bench and then that starting lineup that you can continue to develop and add to. So I think the Raptors will definitely get a new look and, and get more confident with a coach like Budenholzer. But I think a team like the Bucks shouldn't go in the Becky Hammond direction. You know, she's shown that she can be an excellent coach, but go to a guy that you know can get the best out of your players put them in the best system and offensively and defensively and may, probably make them finally become a consistent offensive team um, with the weapons that they have, like Snell, like Middleton, like um, Jabari, um, Giannis and them, those type of players, they still can go to another level. And I think a coach like Budenhoser can get them to that next level just like he did with the Atlanta Hawks. Only reason why the Atlanta Hawks failed to win the championship was not only LeBron, but soon as they started winning, they all became all-stars. They all got interest from other teams. They all wanted to leave. They all wanted to sign bigger contracts. Millsap got paid a lot of money. Carroll got paid a lot of money. Um, and even Schroeder, they let Jeff T go. He got paid by the Minnesota Timberwolves. So as soon as they start winning, everybody started getting more fame, more credit, and they would put on a bigger pedestal. And then you start seeing when they start winning, they all start going their own way and chasing their own dreams, going against different teams and getting paid. So a team like the Bucks, you already have Milton under contract. You already have Giannis under contract. And Jabari is a restricted free agent giving you an option to either negotiate or match a contract to keep him in Milwaukee. You have a nucleus of great players. You still have Fine under rookie contract. Eric Bledsoe might be gone next year. So he comes off the books and allows you to get another point guard you know through the draft and or even through free agency that you can sign and take his place but he's still not that old either and he's a guy that can go to another level also and he showed that in phoenix but he didn't really show that in the books and a coach that preaches winning knows how to win and won coach of the year and got the best out of role players these players i feel like will even be benefit even more because they're more athletic more diverse more have different type of lineups and they already have a superstar guy and Giannis Antetokounmpo and the great role players around him obviously i think this roster would definitely need some more shooters um some more youth off that bench some more versatility off that bench and i think buddha hoser will definitely talk to peter fagan about getting these things done and adding that type of roster to this team because at this point if they get Budenholzer, and hoser they're going they're going all in for a championship and once you have a guy like Yan that's in a new arena you definitely want a championship coach that you believe they can get the job done and i feel like Budenholzer and hoser is, is the direction they should go in and i don't think the rappers should pick them up because i feel like they can get they got to find out what their identity is and they got to find out who they're going to keep on the roster. And that's something that the GM going to have to find out and find a coach that can match that. Obviously, picking up a guy like Budenhoser, he, he's a guy that can coach any damn roster. He's a guy that can get the best out of damn near any roster. But I still feel like they're not fitting right and people are not playing right under that Toronto team. So I definitely think they need to make some lineup changes while the Bucks is on a young and upcoming team. And I think Budenhoser can get them to that ceiling that Jason Kidd could never get offensively and defensively from this team. And Budenhoser will actually probably have the best talented roster he ever has had top to bottom with this Bucks roster. So I would really like to see if he can really take this team to the next level and become one of the top three teams in the East, something that Jason Kidd could never get them to. They was always known, they was always respected, but they never was able to get that top seed and become a dominant championship team or even a contender at that under Jason Kidd. They never could get there. And I think Budenhoser would definitely get them there if they hired him as the coach offensively and defensively. I think they would improve and become more consistent and be tough for the guard and boot and hoser to me will be in the right direction check out my website and also play com. link will be in the description in the comment section below check out my facebook page and also play com. link will be in the description comment section below queen way basketball and also i'm gone